Son Goku. We're going to show you just how powerful he is with science. In Dragon Ball Z's first episode, we see Goku hop through the forest and then straight up punch down and drag a massive tree home. That by the angle Goku is holding it on one end, all we can tell is that its other end is touching down somewhere fairly far back. But looking at Goku's height of 5 feet 9 inches or 1.75 meters and using it to find the perceived radius, volume, approximate height of 300 feet, density, judging it using the most similar tree we can find being a redwood, we find this tree's approximate weight to be something like 1 million pounds or 490,000 kilograms. But Goku was catching 400 pound or 181 kilogram fish when he was 5. So there you go. Goku is a master of well over a dozen martial arts styles, which Goku has blended together over the years into his own signature form that allows him to quickly adapt to any opponent. He is widely known for casually walking around in a weighted shirt, boots, armbands, with each item weighing 50 pounds or 22 and a half kilograms, totaling 250 pounds or 113 kilograms. And he dresses like a carrot because that's his real name. Goku is so laughably durable that bullets from any gun imaginable simply bounce off him. Being shot in the head with a high-powered sniper rifle only annoys him. He can catch bullets, take hundreds of steel arrows to his eyes and man parts without batting an eye, poke through ballistic glass of any thickness, his left kneecap can take on a speeding car like a champ, can block a sword with his finger, and looking at the game can survive a near 120 mile or 200 kilometer per hour flying car crash, which all points to his skin being denser than steel, denser than practically any metal on earth, going all the way to osmium as he doesn't take a dent nor hardly a scratch. You may have noticed that Goku is always willing to go as far as he needs to to win a fight. Sacrificing himself against Cell takes a beating from Majin Buu and dies to defeat his brother Raditz by getting a massive hole drilled through his chest, leaving a sizable gap where his heart, lungs, and duodenum should be. This would see Goku draining the one and a half gallons of blood adult males typically have, swiftly dying in seconds. Yet Goku manages to hang on to ask questions and talk to Krillin for a full 2 minutes and 35 seconds. But perhaps my favorite memory is when Goku arrives in heaven and is granted permission to run across the Snake Way, a narrow serpent road that is said, via the source material, to be a distance of 1 million kilometers or 625,000 miles long. That's over two and a half times the distance from the Earth to the Moon. And at a brief glance, Goku is shown to have sprinted this route over a period of under six months or 177 days of fun-loving torture which would see Goku running at a speed of 235 kilometers or 145 miles per hour. But you might remember that Goku actually fell off during a quick snooze landing in heck about a quarter of the way through after he had been running for two months where he then had to wrestle two ogres, completely restart, and was stopped by a snake princess that fell in love with him along the way. Taking this time off the clock, this would see him running before eventually crawling at 360 kilometers or 225 miles per hour. What has really added to Goku's power though is his favorite training method being gravity. Goku trained on King Kai's planet whose gravity is 10 times that of Earth's, which would make our 137 pound or 62 kilogram Goku feel like he's carrying a 1,370 pound or 600 120 kilogram log on his back. His heart would also weigh 10 times as much, making it incredibly hard to pump blood back to his brain, his eyes, as it all slowly sinks down into his legs or back, which would cause Goku to lose his vision, consciousness, and then die within minutes. But he manages to adapt to living on King Kai's planet for over five months, rushing back across Snake Way at nearly 21,000 kilometers or 13,000 miles per hour. But this is all nothing to the horror that Goku did on his way to Namek, where for six days, packed with more awesomeness than Goku's muffin button, Goku first trained at 20, then 30, then 50, and finally 100 times Earth's gravity. Gravity that initially would rupture his major arteries, blood vessels crack, and then shatter his bones, puncturing his organs, until eventually at 100 times Earth's gravity, a person whose name isn't Goku would be agonizingly crushed into a flat 
that human-sized pizza. But Goku, now weighing 137,000 pounds or 62,000 kilograms, manages to do one-finger push-ups and backflips just fine. But one of Dragon Ball Z's and Goku's coolest features is throughout Z, Goku hurls around powerful energy or key blasts like they're going out of style. That can easily destroy a planet, monsters. The interesting thing about Ki, though, is it seems to materialize as plasma that can be easily manipulated and shaped. And like plasma, depending on how much energy is infused into the blast, the key's temperature can vary wildly. From temperatures rivaling the surface of the sun, going all the way up to absurd numbers like 100 million Kelvin to 2 billion Kelvin, with the former producing nuclear fission and both absolutely melting or full-on vaporizing just about everything around it. And for the strongest attack we see Goku ever attempt in the show being the three spirit bombs that Goku uses against Vegeta, then Frieza, then Kid Buu, it's likely they all get to be hotter and hotter the stronger or more energetic they get. With the only spirit bomb that worked out of the three, via taking in energy from every living thing on Earth, likely reaching the higher end of how hot plasma can get. A staple of the show, though, is that Goku can move and attack so fast that he literally becomes a blur to downright invisible to some of his opponents and friends, who are among the fastest and most powerful beings in the universe. He often leaves his own after image behind, with his lower-powered friends only hearing the crashing of his fist, meaning that Goku is fast enough to basically move across their entire field of vision and under, sometimes way under, the 0.1 second refresh rate that an eye has, no matter the distance he's at. But what really just tops everything we see him do over the series is Goku achieves the famous Super Saiyan forms, drastically amplifying his power and raising any stat he has, with Super Saiyan 1 increasing the power of his base form by a factor of 50, Super Saiyan 2 multiplies the space power by 100, and Super Saiyan 3 by 400, a form that saw Goku scream so hard as to shake the entire Earth itself. That's like the power of 42 trillion nuclear warheads going off, and not to mention he's telepathic and can teleport. But taking the guy down might be easier than you think if you use his one major weakness against him. Unlike me trying to walk the line between a fun and informative video and utterly drowning you guys with numbers and science terms, cause I've never done that before, exploiting Goku's strangest power to take him out of the game would be fairly easy. And I'm talking about his ability to eat. When sitting down to eat, Goku as a kid would eat 56 meals in one sitting. Now as a fully grown man, that number for him and his fellow Saiyans has skyrocketed. As an adult male, still in his prime, if Goku, like most people, needs about 33% more calories than his preteen years, this means Goku would be eating close to 75 of those dishes in one sitting. And unfortunately for him, we see in the Android Saga, or Cell Arc, that Saiyans are just as susceptible to catching a cold, a virus, as humans are. So slip a manufactured virus into a generous cupcake, and by Kami, you've got him. But if none of this was very interesting, then I saved my most interesting fact for last. Even weirder than Goku and other pure-blooded Saiyans retaining their same hair length and shape forever is they retain their youth until they pass the age of about 80, where they then start to show signs of aging, which is almost as awesome as Wolverine's aging power, whose power we go over in this video. So click on his claws or I'll unleash the final flash I've been charging up since I showed Goku beating up Bruce Lee. See you in the next one.